Michael Hutchinson is a member of the Missy Pawi Stick Cree Nation, north of Winnipeg. He's spent much of his career telling the stories of Indigenous peoples and advocating for First Nation families and communities across Canada. Michael joins us to explain the significance of a memory bundle, the center of the action in the latest of his Mighty Muskrats mystery series, The Case of the Burgled Bundle. Hello, I'm here to tell you about the Case of the Burgled Bundle, book three in the Mighty Muskrats mystery series. Now, I wrote the series because I want to reach out to young Canadians who uh, are usually very positive and very smart and want to build a better Canada for everybody. And so I wanted to educate them about First, the First Nation Canadian history and how that trickles down into families, how that First Nation Canadian history trickles down to affect young First Nation people who are around maybe their age. Um, it's one thing to know uh, First Na history in your mind, it's another thing to understand how that history trickles down into people's hearts. And so that's one of the things I wanted to do with the Mighty Muskrats Mystery Series. The other thing I wanted to do was have First Nation young people be able to see characters and communities that reflected their own. When I grew up, I read a lot of books and I never really saw many books that reflected my own experience, my own uh, struggles, and uh, my own um, community. And so that's one of the other things that I wanted to do with the Mighty Muskrats Mystery Series so that young First Nation can see um, themselves reflected in the books and maybe help uh, build a little pride for young First Nation people. Now, uh, in the case of the Burgled Bundle, um, you have the four muskrats. Now, the four muskrats, I want to introduce them to you. First, you have a Tim. A Tim is the largest and the fastest running and the most physical of the muskrats. He's always hungry. And then, sort of representing the uh, you have Sam and Chickadee and they sort of represent the intellectual and the emotional side and they sort of switch back in those roles and so they often switch back in the leadership roles as well and uh, uh, Sam is a Tim's younger brother and Chickadee is their cousin and then you have their other cousin Otter and he's the quiet one. Now Otter was raised by their grandparents so he knows the most about Cree culture. He also knows a lot about bushcraft so he knows about canoeing as well as tracking and how to track animals as well as people and uh, he also knows a lot about ceremony and that comes important for the case of the burgled bundle because this one is a lot about ceremony now in this book the national assembly of cree people comes to visit the windy lake first nation which is a fictional first nation and uh, the cree people are spread all the way across what is now known as canada they go right from james bay in quebec all the way to the eastern shores of the Rocky Mountains and into the Rocky Mountains um, all the way in Alberta. Now my First Nation, the Grand Rapids First Nation, is sort of right in the middle. Uh, we're known as uh, the Swampy Cree people, that's our dialect of Cree. Uh, if you look at a map of Manitoba, there's the Great Big Lake and then there's the North Saskatchewan River that goes all the way across the prairies and into the Great Big Lake and my First Nation is right at that intersection. So the Cree people are a mighty nation that stretches uh, that's very far and so families and representatives all across the Cree people have come to the National Assembly of Cree people in Windy Lake and so there are uh, celebrations of Cree culture like uh, you know crafting and and other skills um, there are uh, game physical games like racing and baseball tournaments but there's also ceremony and um, one of the things that happens is a elder from Treaty 12, which is a fictional treaty area, brings a treaty bundle to Windy Lake to build unity among the Cree people. Now, a memory bundle is a bundle of some things that, that might be put together, and each one of those little memory items inside that bundle comes with a story. And so when an important event happens to a First Nation or a First Nation nation, uh, they'll create a bundle and give that to a family to take care of. And so a treaty bundle of the treaty bundle 12 holder comes to Windy Lake to build unity among the Cree people and have the uh, treaty bundle be part of a four day ceremony where it's unpacked and all the stories that go with it are told. But unfortunately, the bundle goes missing. And thankfully, 
the mighty muskrats are on the case and they get help from their very wise grandfather, their uh, stoic and hard-working uncle uh, Levi who is a band constable for the Windy Lake Police Force and they all work together to find the missing bundle. Or do they? Do they find it? Who knows? Well, um, now each book, Mighty Muskrat book, takes place in a different season. So the case of the Windy Lake takes place in the springtime. The case of the missing Andy takes place in the summer when the Mighty Muskrats go to the city and go to the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation and learn more about residential schools. And then the case of the vertical bundle takes place in the fall time. I just finished writing the case of the rigged race, which takes place in the winter time. Now it involves a dog sled race that takes place on Windy Lake and somebody is trying to mess with the race and make certain that uh, it isn't fair. And so again, the mighty muskrats are on the race and they have to figure out who and why someone is trying to rest with the Windy Lake dog race. I really hope that you take some time and learn more about the mighty muskrats, maybe pick up one. I want to encourage all those young authors to get, sit down in those seats and, and start writing. You know, you got to take the chance. And I hope you all have a great time at the rest of the festival. Be well, stay smiling. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website? Thank you for joining us. See you again.